All right, guys. We got an interesting video for you right now. Okay. Hopefully you can see all that. There you go. Oh. Here we go. We're gonna make a video on how to set a 330 Cana bear by your hands. Okay, see that trap? I hear, I hear people say, oh, set a new one by hand. See that, zip ties? Um, does it get any newer than that? Probably not. Cutting the zip ties off. And yes, I am gonna use this. I, have to put, I just have to put a tag on it and some wire. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you gotta do 20 things to it, blah, blah, blah. You really don't have to, you know, for beaver. There's oil on it, blah, blah, blah. I, and I don't have time to prepare it, you know, let it rust, all that crap. I got beaver to trap right now. And uh, yeah, anyway, get this tape off this thing. Set this stuff down right here where I can pick it up when I'm done. There we go. Anyway, it's a brand new 330 <laughs> right off the shelf. Literally 20 minutes ago, I bought this trap. Okay. So I'm gonna put these over here, these over here. What I do is I get a stick or something and I use that as leverage, okay? And I always have the dog, I mean not the dog, the safety down here so I can flip it with my wrist when I push this trap down. But I get a knee inside the trap, okay? And I get the jaw on a stick and then upper body strength and just, you know, leverage. Get a hand on the spring, just push it down and then the dog is going to be right here. See that? Flip it up in my hand just quick. Okay. Other side. Same scenario. Got the safety right here. Push it down. Get it around the pivoting spot. One hand. There you go. I mean, it was that easy. Yes, I will, I will say that... Uh, Brand new traps are, they're, the, they're way more powerful. Obviously, the springs are. Um, they're not, you know, the easiest to set. But as you just seen, I didn't have very much difficulty setting this trap. But that's how I press the springs down, or compress the springs on a 330 Conibear. Um Yeah, there you go. It's that easy, guys. I might as well set the rest of it here for you guys. Put your hands outside the trap when you set this. Hold it, get the trigger in place, hold on to it with your hands outside of the trap, outside of the trap. That way if it were to fire for any reason, it would not get your hands in there. There you go, take your safeties off. You're good to go guys. There you go, thank you much.